Today is April 11th, 2020. My name is Charles Suter. In the next three minutes, I will be presenting the subject, Overcoming Emotional Distress. The main message of this presentation is that to change your emotions, you have to change your beliefs. Emotional distress is caused by irrational and erroneous beliefs. So you may ask, well, how do I know if I have these irrational or erroneous beliefs? And the simple answer is, you will have emotional distress. One causes the other. My first proposition, all thoughts and feelings and actions come from your beliefs. Well, let me give you the bad news first. Your irrational beliefs are fixed and they're locked in your subconscious mind. But there is some good news because irrational beliefs can be reprogrammed. Proposition number two, to get more positive emotions, you have to build positive beliefs because what you believe is how you think, feel, and act. But you do have a most powerful tool to make changes in your life, and that is with focused awareness. With focused awareness, you can control your self-talk and your actions. You can't necessarily control your emotions directly, but you can control what you say to yourself and how you respond to your emotions. Now, Proposition 3 will tell you exactly what you need to do to, to build positive emotions and to eliminate your irrational beliefs. Number one, accept your current reality. In other words, your beliefs about your current reality. It's not the reality that's causing you emotional distress. It's your beliefs about those external events. Again, we're going through the acronym ACT, A-C-T. And the first A, A is accept your current reality. C, choose how you want to feel and the right supportive beliefs. Now, naturally, you want to feel positive about, about your life and everything that's going on. But you're going to need the right supportive beliefs, and you have to convert those supportive beliefs into affirmations. The T is take action to change those beliefs causing your emotional distress. You're going to have to become more aware more often, control your self-talk, and in particular, you have to begin telling yourself or repeating to yourself these affirmations. Space repetition over time, eventually you'll create new beliefs that are more dominant than your irrational beliefs. I, again, I want to give credit for the ACT process to Gary Emery and James Campbell, authors of the book Rapid Relief from Emotional Distress. So now that you know what's causing your emotional distress, to make changes, you need to focus on positive beliefs so you can promote positive emotions. That's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.